Greetings, everyone. Uh, certain game came out. Yay. Finally. <laughs> After a seven month <laughs> delay. <laughs> Rayman Legends for Wii U and those other things we don't really care about. PS3, 360. <laughs> Apparently, it was 360 was to blame for the delay. Oh, isn't that a fucking surprise? <laughs> <laughs> Because apparently Microsoft has a contract that everything has to be the same time as everything else if they want to release it on their system. That baffles me. Well, then again, uh, the game was originally a Wii U exclusive, and uh, the infrastructure of the Wii U was probably a little different than the PS3 and 360, even though graphically they're pretty similar. Well, it doesn't bother me that they had to, that they ported the game to other systems, because you know what, whatever. It's just... the two. Two weeks before it was supposed to come out, man. That's just... Ugh. Yeah, that would... Be, <sighs> so... You gotta give me at least three weeks. That's well, a month. <laughs> Once it gets under a month, it has to come out at that point. They probably already had a gold disc sitting in warehouses ready to be shipped. Probably. I think they said it was already done. <sighs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> but yeah, I just 100% completed it. Um, all right, well, this, the game just came out on this Tuesday. Tuesday. You guys, all, you already 100% to the entire fucking game. I'm good at platformers. All right, uh, well, no, you, you didn't. You don't have one million, the uh, whatever they're called. Lums. Lums. <laughs> what about how, how far are you along, Ted? Uh, I beat the final boss. I'm still clearing up other stuff, though. I see. And I am the, the least amount of progress here because I just got the game uh, yesterday. No, I got the game two days ago, a uh, digital version, but I've just started playing it this morning as of this recording, which is Friday the 6th. And I just, 5.48 p.m. Eastern yeah. Standard Time. And with the exception of the invasion levels that pop up every once in a while, I've uh, fully completed the first two worlds. And uh, that's about it. Uh, so yeah, the game is significantly shorter than the first one. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd say that. How uh, how big is? Because believe it or not, for those audiences that doesn't know, I actually own Rayman. Why not have really you not game. played that? I mean, seriously. I really had no compulsion, really. Yeah. And I mean, I, I bought it because I... I no, actually, I... I with the, a GameStop gift card I got for Christmas in one year, and, uh, you know, I, I got it because I heard good things about it, but mm. GameStop gift card video games that I buy usually end up collecting dust until I one day decide to sit down and play it. That was on the 360, and I don't play for 2D platformers on the 360. Couldn't find a PS3 copy. Well, then just, you can get a PS3 copy for, like, 15 bucks. Yeah, now. That is, yeah, well, not not even just now. It was 20 within, like, three months. Oh, I didn't know that. It was 60 when I bought it, so. Dude, the game came out, like, a week after Skyrim, or I think maybe a few days before Skyrim. There was no way that was going to compete, and prices dropped ridiculously quickly. And now we got Grand Theft Auto Five coming out in about a Two week. Weeks. About that. <laughs> So, yeah. so Legends can see a price drop in two times. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, I have played Legends about uh, four more hours than I have put into Origins. <laughs> and uh, I, I can say that, well, I, I, I already experienced Legends from the demo that was released. There was two demos released, wasn't there? Well, there was a oh. challenge app in the demo. Yeah, uh, I could have sworn there was two demos and a challenge app. Or eh, there was a demo games. before the challenge app, though. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I, I've uh, I've experienced Legends via those, and I enjoyed what I played. We all enjoyed what we played. There were many times where me, Ryan, and Ted were bullshitting on Skype, and we exchanged grunts, noises, and frustrations <laughs> when we couldn't beat our times or points or Fuck you know, finding the, all the teensies in the sea and serendipity origins levels. Ooh, why is that? Because that was the area in, I was really pissed off at. <laughs> because in the original Origins, you only had to find two hidden things, and the rest of the, where the teensies would be are like optional skull coins or something. And in this, you have to find basically everything, so it's a little bit more obnoxious. 
Also, I checked the completion time. It took me 11 hours, and the average completion time for Rayman, like just bare basics, is 10. So it's a little bit shorter, I'd say, because I've already done some extra stuff. And that that the, you're, you said that's including gathering all the teensies. Yeah. Uh, Origins has a little bit more meat on its bones, I'd say. Yeah. Gotcha. This is kind of relying on most people not having played Origins to find all those levels to be bonus content or something. But as someone who's played the first game, eh. Yeah, it, 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 generally, if you if you play platformers for a living, or at least played any platformer that had some sort of collectathon goal in its head, it's like if you love collecting the seven special rings in Sonic Advance Two, this is much better. <laughs> yeah, uh, because that's, that's actually one of the first things that popped into my head when I. When well, I mind, mind you, it isn't anywhere near as obnoxious. No, yeah, that's why most, I say much most better. Of the te- most of the teens are on the way, or just kind of in some. Fairly obvious. Oh, there's a divot in the wall. I wonder if I can go through there. Well, that <laughs> and the level, the level design encourages backtracking. Yeah. You know, it's not like once you go here, you can't go back. Oh, in certain sections. But even then, you can hit start and choose restart level to go all the way back or restart sequence to go back to the checkpoint you last crossed, which I appreciate. Uh, there's, there's just something very refreshing about how... and. You you guys mentioned this earlier. Origins does this too, but you know, since I've not played Origins, uh, there are no lives in this game. There are no, there's no timer either. And these guys can do everything. They can run. They can jump. They can swim. No need to breathe. They can wall jump. They can run up they, walls. They can attack in about four different directions. They can ground pound. They can. They have a charge attack. It's a. These guys can really do it all. So it, it, it's a platforming game that really. That's main focus is the platforming and not exactly the artificial stipulations around uh, the platforming obstacles itself. Like, you know, can you get to here with this amount of lives or can you do this in a specific amount of time? And by that, I mean this artificial timer and not exactly the obstacles that are chasing after you. Yeah. Well, I'd say that's more for Origins than Legends because Origins has, I want to say more organic, but I'm not sure if that's the right word for it because the. There's more gimmicks in Legends than in Origins, like the Murphy stuff and lights that'll kill you if they touch you or stuff like that. It's a little bit more bare bones in Origins, but I think that's sort of a good thing in a way, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm sorry, time's up. You got to deposit 25 more cents before we can continue on. No, that was actually me dropping a quarter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh... Visually and aud- and song wise, the game is really really good. Oh well, yeah, that's obvious. There's actually one thing that kind of bothers me about the uh, Murphy levels too, from a visual perspective, is that um, am I the only one who looks at the gamepad the entire time? When no, I look yes. at the game. I look at the gamepad the entire time. I do this, too. You got this crisp 1080p gameplay right in front of your face, and you're looking at a dinky ass shrunk screen of the gamepad. On on top of that, everybody who's right-handed, your hand is covering up half of the level design. So good luck with that on top of Blowbox's dumbass AI. Well, do you do you use your finger or the stylus? I I use use the stylus. stylus. So do I. So I'm not smudging up the screen. (laughs) I somehow managed to anyway, and I occasionally wipe the dust and fingerprints off. I don't know what the hell am I doing, but uh, yeah, but I I completely agree. The 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 Blowbox. Oh, sorry. No, I was saying visually the game is gorgeous, and um, I'm, I'm digging the soundtrack of what I'm hearing so far. To an extent, I like Origins songs better, but I think that's more just because I heard them more. Again, music's subjective, so yeah, you've only had this. We've only had the game for four days now, though. At this point, yeah. so so Eye of the Tiger and Black Betty. <laughs> Still, there isn't anything as immediately iconic as the Land of the Livid Dead song from Origins, though. Well, which is what about, sort of... What about the Vonage song? <laughs> <laughs> is such odd choices for licensed music. Which aren't on the soundtrack, keep in mind. So nah. It's... I'd imagine they wouldn't be. You can get game rips with sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, challenge uh, challenge wise, I think this is a bit easier than Origins. No, it's, it's way easier than Origins. I got through all of this, these extra music levels in like within like well, five it, tries. It, it, it's, it's hard for me to tell, considering I use I almost don't, never have a problem with platformers these days. So, would you say that? It could be easier than Origins because of your experience with Origins. No, I mean, Origins. Would a newbie find this easier than? Because so, no, no, so far, so uh, far, I've nothing gets close to the treasure chest chases or the land of the living dead from Origins. Nothing. No, this is yeah. This I'd say this game is easier than Origins. Which, I see. Although, again, the the difficulty in Origins never really bothered me because of how well structured the checkpoints and stuff were. But yeah. I guess this is. I guess the difficulty was something that they wanted to alleviate so it could appeal to more people, or I, I guess. I'm not sure what's in their minds nowadays, because, you know, they keep making dumb, dumb, dumb Filth, decisions. Filthy casuals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, I'm only like three worlds in at this point, but uh, so far it's been a pretty breezy ride, even with going after all the, uh, the teensies. And trying to get the gold trophies. For the most part, I've had my share of three short. What, level of, what level of awesomeness are you, John? Well, uh, since we have uh, did that bullshitting session about two hours ago, I've, I'm have now in the sixth level of awesomeness. Ted? Uh, nine. Tenth level of awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so after that e-penis measuring contest... Um, mm. Really, the only part of the game that's been any amount of challenging are the invasion levels, which are nice and snappy and difficult just the way I like them. It, it's sort of like Meat Boy in that it's a very short burst of challenge rather than... A well, Rayman, or, well, I always thought of Origins as a better designed Super Meat Boy to begin with, because uh, it's not doesn't make me want to punch... Well, because suddenly Rayman Origins has a budget. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> Uh, but um, from I what I hear, I, from what I hear, the um, it is kind of kind of saw this coming really. But the the Wii U version is turning out to be the definitive version to own. Well, it was supposed to be a Wii U, and then the execs made them delay it for other systems. Yeah, and because uh, I'm I'm curious as to, and I, and I asked you guys this earlier, like how uh, the PS3 and 360 versions handle certain segments that the Wii U uses the gamepad for. It's just a button press, which is which yeah, it's yeah. lame. But I think you don't have to deal with Globox's AI in those versions. So, yeah. um, eh, I guess it's. Uh, I mean, I feel like that would be Glob- really- Globox. Stop being so picky about which path you'll take. <laughs> I think that would be cool uh, co-op, but um, yeah, on your own, it's just ugh. yeah. I guess come middle of November, we'll see if this is the better platformer for the Wii U this year. Or... Uh, what uh, Mario Sonic... 3D World? Oh, Mario, yeah, uh... Mario 3D World and Sonic Lost World, but. Yeah, true, but well, hmm. those are three D platformers, so I mean, true, but... and to me, I consider those to be separate genres, mm-hmm. even though the name of the game is relatively the same. One's in three D, and one's in two D. Though I will say that this is uh, this is actually a this is definitely a keeper. Yeah. Well, in my case, I have no choice. I bought it digitally, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, even even if I, even so, that this is something I wouldn't consider ever giving up or yeah, trading it, it, it because it, it, it's, it's a very solid platformer. Yeah. I would. Uh, would you guys think it's worth the sixty dollars price tag at this point? Oh well, yeah, definitely. I, I think so. And in think addition, you have all the daily and weekly challenges, so you at least have something to do every day. There is it. a lot of content in this game. Exactly. I think the real question is is whether or not it's worth playing if you don't know Origins, or if it's worth playing if you already have yeah, beaten Origins. Because if you've I, already beaten Origins, like me and Ted have, a third the of the or- content is, is kind of redundant. Yeah. And I mean, don't get me wrong, Legends is still an amazing game. It's just, uh, I don't. It's hard to define why I think Origins is better. Because well, one less less gimmicky stages like Glowbox. Yeah, true. Um, I think it's just Murphy, actually. Yeah. Well, no, it's not. <laughs> well, just... it's, it's Murphy, and it's just a shorter game overall. I think for the extra seven months, they shouldn't have bothered with putting in Origins levels. They should have made just more levels. But that would be harder to port, though. Is, is the thing. I, I suppose, but still. It's 
And it's just, uh, I think that as much as it shouldn't, that delay really did hit hurt my anticipation and excitement for the game, which, it, although I should be able to compartmentalize that and enjoy it on its own merits, nobody's that logical and perfect, and I, I, I couldn't do that, man. <laughs> Hence what, the what, cathartic so what, so, so, what, so what say you, Mr. Spock? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we have much more to say on uh, Legends. Just yeah, a quick, I will just say a, that... Just a uh, kind of uh, first impressions video. Yeah, I will... Uh, well, I, I, just as a final thoughts, because you guys are talking... Uh, as a person who owns Origins but has not played Origins, I think uh, anybody who's just jumping into it with Legends will have a fine enough time, and I'm certainly enjoying myself. Well, so it's not, like, it's not like there's much plot. <laughs> no, no, no. It, it, yeah. What, what well, let's story? spoil. Well, let spoils one of the twists from Origin. Well, twist and heavy quotation marks. Uh, but um, like what? Like it's a, it's a TNT that's villains or something like that. Well, or? no. There's the uh, well. I guess the, re- the, the regular warning. TNTs are fine, but there's an evil. There's an evil TNT. Yeah. Well, there's the, there's a magician dude who's returning from like the very first PlayStation Rayman game, and oh. he um, he was a good guy there. And in Origins, he continues to be a good guy until the end where you realize that he was the mastermind all along. And all of the lums you were saving in that game were actually piloting his evil thing. And then you beat him up. And he's the bad guy again in this. <laughs> so. And then you punch him to the moon. <laughs> Do Oh, so Do Origins did it first where the, you punch the... Well, no, you don't punch him to the moon. You, you, you explode him, which is harsh. Because, yeah, I, I mean, like, you never really find out what he's doing. He just has all those lums. For some reason. Yeah. Here he's more blatantly, mustache-twirlingly evil. <laughs> in, the, in the first game, you just find him doing evil. So he's like, oh, um, pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Disco time. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, though, um, just one final thing. One moment I do get a kick out of in Legends is when you finally... Uh, you, you got those chase levels where you have to chase down the evil teensy that's carrying the, the, the last teensy you need to save. Yeah. And, uh, no, it's actually a boss level, actually. And every boss level, and you, you, you finish the boss off, and the guy, you, you catch him in the middle of oiling his getaway vehicle. Yeah. And, well, the, there's and, lots of really cool things like that. Like, in one of the last levels, the minions are, like, mopping the floor, yeah. and you beat them up for doing janitorial <laughs> duties. <laughs> yeah, it's like, what's that, Nintendo? A game with personality on your system? <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> get it away! Get it away! Get it! Away. Well, that's why they had to make it multi-platform. It couldn't be a Nintendo <laughs> exclusive if it had charm. <laughs> yeah. So is... when can we see an eventual commentary? Ted. Well, well, do we want to do it live or not live? Well, it's a full. It's up to a four-player game. It's. It'd be better if we did it live. Well, we'll, we'll probably do Origins post commentary because that's a much longer game. Yeah. But we can probably do Legends whenever we meet up again. Okay, I like I'm that. Down for that. I call dibs on Origins. That's dibs. fine. Go right ahead. Dibs, dibs, dibs. Absolutely fine there. Go right ahead. I Maybe mean, I use it as an excuse to finally whip out my copy and just play it just to fuck with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> but all right, yeah, that's Rayman Legends. Uh, thanks for listening to this. Uh, we'll be back with more first impressions. What's the next game we want that's coming out? Probably Pokemon. I, uh, yeah, Pokemon X and Y come out in uh, about a month. Tw- yeah. yeah, you get a poster for pre-order in that game. Hmm. Oh, have you guys been able to do the 3DS XL pre-orders? Because I've been having major troubles trying to do that. Well, we'll save that for another time when we get to Pokemon <laughs> X and Y because this is free, man. <laughs> yeah.